Hi, you guys. Um, today's adventure with Queen Bee is to try to find the Fun Fest store. Every year, Kingsport has a Fun Fest, a weekly Fun Fest, right before school. And they have all kinds of events, and they have a store in which they have their memorabilia, schedules, tickets, you know, all that stuff you could buy. And they seem to move it on me every year. And every year it's an adventure to find. Because if you Google it, it gives you all kinds of crazy stuff. It still don't tell you where the store is. Um, but um, that's my adventure for today. Hopefully it'll be a little more exciting than just running around town. Um, but uh, that's what I'm going to be. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing today so far. Um, Mr. Turtle was out here today. Let's go see if he's still here. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, he's been making indentions in the grass. I wonder what he's been doing. Look, indentions. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. He must have been busy because there's another one. He's a crawl or she is crawling away. Bye. Mr. Tur Mr. Turtle's girlfriend is gone. It's safe. Oh, don't you hide. Don't you hide. See? Mr. Turtle. He comes around every once in a while. I'll put you down. Sorry. He don't like me picking him up. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and see. See if we can find this door. Hopefully, it will be an adventure. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I covered the camera. Uh, you could tell I'm new at this. Anyway, let's go. I have a good idea for it, maybe. Um, but... Yeah, technical difficulties, sorry, but hopefully there will be no more technical difficulties. Uh, it's really, really warm out here today. I think it's like 84 already and it's like 10 o'clock. It looks kind of cloudy. We might get some rain, but I mean... That would be good on a hot day. A little bit of rain. Uh, let's see, which way do I need to go? I need to go that way. I think I'm going to enjoy taking uh, you guys on my little adventures and trips through through town or on a search for something or. If I hear something exciting happening, guarantee you'll be with me because I will definitely record it. <laughs> and if anybody has any uh, recommendations of stuff I could do that you'd like to see me try or go, or um, just comment and I will definitely try to get to that. I mean, I'm a working woman. I have a working schedule. So, I don't get to YouTube all the time. And, uh, I, I actually enjoy it. I think it's, I think it's fun. And I enjoy being able to talk to you guys, telling you all what's going on and what I'm up to. And, and also, if anything, you see anything that I miss, Please comment and let me know. I mean, it's just like these haunted videos and stuff. Uh, the viewers can catch stuff that the person that's making the video doesn't catch. And I think it's great. Uh, let's see. What else do we, can we do today? I know searching for a store ain't very exciting, but it can have
has it have its perks at times, I guess. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. We just might see something happen along our way to searching for this place. But like I said, I have, I have an idea of where it may be. Just hope it's there so I don't have to go uh, 1,500 different places to try to find it. I tried to Google it and it just gave me stores around Fumpet, the deer in Fumpet, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't need the stores around Fumpet to be as I need the store itself. <laughs> and if you happen to hear trains, and it's cause. Uh, we have all kinds of trains go through here. That's just like, um, it's funny because some people, <laughs> some people adventure out and go to uh, what is Sensible Tunnel, which is supposed to be haunted. I've had people to actually record them going in Sensible in search for spirits and all this, and they'll hear a train, which it's a drive through tunnel. There's a train track above it, but, you know, if it, like, sounds like it's in the distance, that's because there's actual train track across the road at a distance. If a train's going through there, going, going down that track, you're going to hear it in Sensible. It's going to echo through there. It freaks people out. It is so hilarious. It cracks me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be starting a new YouTube channel. It's called Debunk of Tennessee. I'm going, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be actually, uh, for the time being, I'm going to be doing local places that's supposed to be haunted and going there, uh, researching it, going there and showing you how crazy just tales can do to people. Just hearing a tale of this this happening or this person saw this and this person heard that you know and it just the story builds and they get that story in their mind and their mind creates this anticipation of something happening and every little noise or every little thing uh, will trigger people to think, oh, I heard it. I heard a laughter. I heard, you know, uh, unless I legitimately, legit, you can tell I can't speak, um, unless I hear it myself, just put it that way, unless I hear it myself or see it myself, I'm kind of skeptic, you know. I know things have happened in places that cause the spirit. Don't, don't take it as I don't believe in spirits. I do. Um, but as far as uh, how people come out and make it out to be bigger than what it really is, uh, okay, that's when I'm skeptic. That's when I want to find out for myself. You know. I've lived around here most of my life. I've heard all the tales about Sensible Tunnel. And Sensible is just an example. There's other places in Kingsport. But I've uh, uh, I've heard all the tales and stuff. I've went through there myself and hadn't heard anything. Nothing's ever happened. But uh, now I'm interested in finding out what's the real story about these places. Uh, going to these places at this certain time after knowing these real stories and seeing what actually might happen. I mean, who knows? Something might actually will happen. And my... I'm hoping to be able to go, like, to these places after I get off work. And I normally get off work around 12 o'clock, 12 midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and so it'd be dark. Give that anticipation of being scary, and uh, you know, uh, 
we'll see. <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to do that for you all. Uh, but it is, it's called Debunking Kingsport, if you want to look it up. I haven't done anything on it yet, but uh, if you want to check it out, I'll definitely let you know when I get it started. You'll be, you'll, you'll be the first to know, actually, along, well, my fiancé will be the first, actually, because he helps me out with my videos, but, uh, yeah, you'll be along the top of the line of the people to know is my YouTube fans on here. And if you notice, there's not much traffic today. That's because it's Sunday. As, a, as another thing is going to cause this little venture to be hard to come. Because I'm pretty sure that they won't have the store open if it's <laughs> if I do find it. But, um, you know. Okay, here's where it normally is. It's called the Kingsport Chamber building. It's got its visitor information. So I think that would be actually the perfect place to have it which they normally have it there. I mean, whenever I've been there, it's been been to the store. That's where it's been. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just rambling. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just going to drive around the parking lot because I know they're closed. I got an idea. Maybe if I look into the building itself, let's just park right here for a second. I'm going to go look in the door just to see. Because they, they got a, a billboard with community events where, you know, you can go to different things in Kingsport. And then there's visitor information. <gasps> Look! Odd. Uh, what I was looking for. Fun Fest events. If I can get the freaking thing out of there. Uh, yay! I didn't even have fun store, which. Nope. They don't have it in there like they did. They don't have it in there like they did, so. But I did find a schedule. So. Uh, what I'll do is look at it, see what kind of events they're having today. It being Sunday, they probably ain't got much going on, but, uh, But if there is something going on, and I get a chance to go to it, you'll be going along with me. But for now, I'm going to get off here and go get some lunch talk to my fiance and I'll be back with you later. Later, tater. <laughs>